UCS, our screenwriting is much like the industry. We ensure that our students go through the process as if they were writers in the industry, that they're actually going to have to draft and redraft, and they get feedback on their work at least every two weeks. They're getting constructive criticism not only from their tutors, but also from their peers, that hopefully their portfolios by the end of the semester and by the end of the course will actually be of a very high standard. So that's a completely different working with external clients on professional practice projects or in placements with local production companies, the BBC or ITV. And that means for the time they leave that their CVs will be extremely good and hopefully mean that they will get a job when they leave. Yes, I would absolutely use UCS students again. They're, again, they're so professional, very hardworking and willing to roll the sleeves up. Both the tutors and the students were really supportive from our first approach. They knew that we were operating a very tight time schedule and the students organised themselves into two separate film crews and they undertook a really hectic recording schedule. You think I enjoy working with such amateurs? On the fiction shoots, students are assigned specific roles. So this means that uh, we, you would be working maybe as a director or a camera person or a sound recordist. The modules I did included researching film, audio, video production, avant-garde, a whole variety of different modules. So it was sort of half production, half theory. Going back and doing all of those film history things, I now have a real understanding as why contemporary film is the way it is today. Working in editorial, I've learned that Avid is the industry standard. They don't use Final Cut Pro, they don't use Premiere. So the fact that I learned it here at UCS was extremely beneficial to me and I don't think I'd be in the job I'm in today without learning that at uni. The thing I liked most about the course was the availability of the equipment and the trust they had with their students. This meant that in my free time, I could experiment making my own films between deadlines and assignments. It is this creative freedom that they give you that other courses might otherwise restrict. One area in which we specialise at Suffolk is sound. The production sound module gives you the skills of sound mixer, boom operator, how to work with sound. So it makes you very sound aware and it prepares you for the second audio module which is a sound design module and that gives you the skills of editing dialogue, mixing dialogue, applying specific effects such as reverb, EQ, compression. Uh, it encourages you to think creatively about sound, to design it, to work with it on a much deeper level. 